We're here to talk about energy and water conservation efforts. We're going to be screening Thirst for Power, which is a documentary about the connection long term for generations and generations between electricity and water. Afterwards, we're going to have a panel discussion. High school students are coming in from all around the city, and it's just important to make sure they feel a part of our community. And this is a great way to teach them that nexus, uh, how important water is to energy and how important energy is to water. It's important that students learn about energy and water resources because these are things that we use on our everyday, day-to-day -day life. Even just turning on a light switch, we don't realize how water is used in that process. Oh, it's monumentally important. I think having students understand that these problems even exist is really important for them to go into the workforce or into the future. Just being aware of it and then making conscious decisions that can help the world in their own ways. We understand that our population is going to double, at least by 2050. And we understand that it's very important to have the understanding that there may be mega droughts in the future. And you can't solve these problems right before they occur. You have to get ready for them, you have to plan for them. Students my age and younger are going to be the people who are taking care of the environment from now on, just as adults are now. Um, and we're needing to come up with more innovative solutions for our fight against climate change. Part of the documentary talks about how nowadays, you know, you turn on a faucet and the water's there. And we want students to understand how that happens, the extraneous process that it takes to get your water and energy to your house. It's important because fresh water takes up so little of our resource and water is used so much for different things. Sometimes you don't even know when water energy is being used. It's important to educate younger students about it because without them, we're lost. Smart energy education is using community partnerships to teach the students today that are going to be the future leaders about ways to be smart about their energy use. Again, today, particularly about the connection between water and energy use and how when you save one, you save the other. Smart energy education means looking at the different opportunities and possibilities that exist for creating energy in a sustainable way. Teaching kids about energy conservation efforts that they can do in their houses at home without um, participating in any other programs or being part of big organizations. With education comes uh, knowledge, comes power, and if you want to influence the way we're making decisions, especially for these young people, is to get as much information as you can and then use it, and then use it for the betterment of our community. In the future, we will be taking care of the environment. We will be our solutions for climate change, and it's important to learn now how to help. It's important to start early teaching about water and energy conservation because as kids get older, you want them to know how to preserve energy and water, and you want them to be excited about being the future of conservation efforts.